Hey guys, welcome back to the target mode shooting minigame tutorial episode 3. We're making a gun script and we're gonna make it be able to hit rigid bodies in this video. So, make a. Uh, I'm gonna import the gun and I'm just gonna take it from the muzzle flash tutorial that I used, but you can use the same method that I used in the first episode of this series. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, so I got that and I'm just gonna bring it into the scene. I'm gonna make the game in the side view and I'm gonna bring it into the scene. Or I'm gonna put it in, on the first person controller and I'm gonna reset the transform. And I'm gonna make it face the right way. So 90 on the X and 90 on the Y. And then I'm gonna scale it 0.25 on the X. No, point, point 0.3 on the X, point 0.3 on the Y, and point 0.3 on the Z. Maybe a little less. We'll do point 0.2. And hello, point 0.2. And point 0.2. Bring it out, bring it up, bring it sideways. Up, down. So now it is connected. Oh, I'm gonna actually parent it to the camera. And now, whenever we move our camera, it should move the gun with it. Yes. And then, I'm gonna... Add a script to it. And we'll call it gun. New script. And... Call it... gun shoot create an ad and then we'll open it up in Visual Studio okay so we're gonna delete everything here that's it so first we're gonna do public float damage equals 10 F public Float firing no yeah firing rate equals fifteen F public float impact force equals one hundred F and public float range equals 10F, no, 100F, and public camera FPS cam, and private float next time to fire equals 0F. Now we're going to make update if input no, in parentheses, input dot get button down fire fire one and time dot time is greater than or equal to next time to fire. Next time to fire equals one F divided by equals time dot time plus 1f divided by firing rate and then we'll make a variable shoot so then shoot will be shoot we'll call it void shoot 
and then we'll do raycast hit raycast hit hit if physics dot raycast fps cam dot transform dot position fps cam dot transform dot forward out hit range and that'll be if the physics are raycast from the uh, position of the FPS cam in the vector forward of the FPS cam outward and then it hits at the range of 100F then we'll just start out with debug dot log hit dot transform dot name so let's go back into unity and we'll see if it works we're gonna shoot the target oh we got to first in the thing we have to make the camera the FPS cam and let's unpack this prefab just in case so hello oh so in the target we're gonna add a collision. We'll add a mesh collider and convex. And now, if we do it, it should. Yeah, it says target down here. It says target. And if we hit the cube, it says cube. And that's how we know what we're hitting. So now we'll do if hit dot transform no in parentheses hit dot rigid body does not equal null hit dot rigid body dot add force hit dot normal uh, impact force hit dot normal times impact force negative hit dot normal times impact force there we go that's how we do it so now if we add just a cube and we'll make it we'll add a rigid body to this cube and make the mass like one why not now if we hit it this is where a UI element works really good so let's add a UI we'll add a canvas and under that canvas we'll add an image and that image can be this knob sprite we'll make it red and we'll make it a little transparent we'll make it a hundred and we'll scale it in we'll do 0.25 no 0.125 0.125 so that'll be like a little uh, cursor look you can hit the cube so next episode this is it for this episode we're going to add a target script to this so that it'll teleport to a new location every time it's hit or we'll also add another target object script where it can take damage and be deleted when you hit it so that's it for this episode. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for that next uh, episode. And yeah, if you did like it, make sure to subscribe and check out the playlist. And leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.